Coming up, how you can win millions in Christmas cash. Where on campus extra precautions should be taken. And where some students spent their Thanksgiving. It's all on Weber State News. Welcome to Weber State News. I'm Kirsten Voorhees. And I'm Nate Garner. WSU experienced a chemical scare yesterday afternoon. Around 11 a.m., a contractor servicing the pool in the Swenson Gym mixed a new 55-gallon drum of sulfuric acid into what he thought was a remaining sulfuric acid from a previously used drum, but it was actually chlorine. The two chemicals caused an unknown reaction, however, no one was harmed. Police initially closed the gym, but reopened the facility shortly after. 88.1 Weber FM hosted their annual Hope for the Holiday event this past Saturday and Sunday, benefiting the Ogden Rescue Mission. The radio station and their sponsors stood outside the Fresh Market on both Harrison and Washington Boulevard to encourage shoppers to donate canned food items. Monetary donations were also accepted. Every $5 given supplied one needy family an entire Thanksgiving meal, minus the turkey. The event raised nearly $2,000. Additionally, 88.1 provided live entertainment to shoppers. Zingfeld Theater sponsored a free concert Saturday evening after the food drive. Weber State broke ground yesterday on the new extension of Stromberg Gym. Two years ago, former student body vice president Victoria, President Victoria Thompson spearheaded the project and current Senate Vice President Brady Thompson has seen the initiative through. They wanted a new place to enhance and encourage student wellness. It is with great excitement that we gather here today to finally break ground on this project that was designed by students, for students, and truly speaks to the attentiveness of the administration and to the needs of the student body. Construction on the expansion starts today and is expected to be completed by the fall of next year. And due to this new addition to WSU's campus, the A8 parking lot will be closed during construction. Pass holders of the A8 lot can park in the A2, 7, and 9 lots until further notice. For more information, visit weber.edu slash parking services. The speed limit throughout campus has been lowered. The speed limit was originally 35 miles per hour and then it was dropped to 25. However, drivers now must not exceed 20 miles per hour around parking services. This change will hopefully ensure safety among current construction zones and for pedestrians using the crosswalk. Graduation caps, gowns, and cords will be available for graduates to pick up at the Linquist Alumni Center December 4th and 5th from 7.30 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. For more information about graduation and commencement, visit weber.edu slash graduation. Well, that's all the time we have for you. You can read more on WSUSignPost.com. While you're there, you can catch up on our previous newscasts by clicking on the Newscast tab. For everyone here at Studio 76, thank you for watching Weber State News. Until next time, I'm Nate Garner. And I'm Kirsten Voorhees. Thanks for watching.